welcome back to my channel. Today I chose to show you the 10 most interesting pasta shapes and their relative recipes. Let's have a look. Number 10. Well, the right pronunciation for this pasta is spaghetti. Oftentimes people call it spaghetti, and that's an American way of saying it, but it's not correct. Spaghetti is probably the most well-known pasta shape in the world. Well, a common mistake made by the people who don't know, of course, how to cook pasta is that they unfortunately overcook it. Let me tell you a little secret on how to cook pasta properly. So, first of all, read in the package. If in the package it says 10 minutes, then cook your pasta for 8 minutes. And that way your pasta will be al dente. There are several recipes you can cook with spaghetti. For example, spaghetti aglio e olio, spaghetti puttanesca, spaghetti cacio e pepe, which is uh, cheese and, and black pepper, spaghetti pomodoro e basilico, so in other words, spaghetti and tomato sauce, spaghetti con vongole, or in other words, spaghetti with clams, and many others. Number nine, bucatini. Bucatini is a long pasta shape with a hole inside. In fact, bucatini comes from the Italian word buco, which means hole. Bucatini is a very common pasta in the region of Lazio. And when I hear the word bucatini, I always think about the eternal city of Rome. Yes, this pasta is very popular in Rome. This is a very tasty pasta. It is usually served with pancetta, which is bacon, guanciale or chick lard, also with vegetables, cheese, eggs, anchovies and sardines. There are numberless recipes you can cook with bucatini, for example bucatini con le sarde, pasta con le sarde, which is bucatini and sardines, bucatini and fagioli, basically bucatini and beans, bucatini carbonara and bucatini amatriciana. Number 8. Ravioli. I really like ravioli because we are not talking about dried pasta here. This is freshly baked pasta. They are part of the traditional Italian food and cuisine. Ravioli may have several different shapes such as circular, semicircular or square. Ravioli can be found anywhere in Italy, of course. You, if you go to a pasta shop, you will find it. They're very fast to cook. While dried pasta takes longer to cook, ravioli are done within a few minutes. Ravioli can be cooked in several different ways. For example, ravioli, tomatoes and olives. Ravioli pomodori olive. Ravioli alla boscaiola. Ravioli al pesto, so pesto and ravioli. Ravioli ai funghi. Ravioli and mushrooms. Number 7. Farfalle. This pasta shape is called farfalle because in Italian it means butterflies. It is also called bow tie because it's got the, the shape of a bow tie. Farfalle comes in several sizes, however they all have a distinctive bow tie shape. There are varieties with colors. They are made by adding ingredients to the dough. Beetroot, for example, for red, spinach for green, etc. etc. This pasta has been around since the 16th century in the northern regions of Italy, Emilia Romagna and Lombardia. There are several recipes you can make with farfalle, for example, farfalle and salmone, farfalle and salmon, farfalle and zucchine, farfalle and ricotta cheese, and farfalle salad. Number 6. Fettuccine is a popular type of pasta, especially around the Rome area and Florence area. Oftentimes people call this pasta fettuccine, but that's a wrong way to call it. The right name is fettuccine. In order to make this pasta, you need eggs and flour. This lovely pasta is usually made fresh, but dried fettuccine can be found in supermarkets and stores. If you want to eat a great meal that will fill you up till the rest of the day, you should try fettuccine with a bolognese sauce or fettuccine with asparagus, fettuccine with pesto or even fettuccine carbonara. Number 5. Talking about penne, we have two main types, penne lisce or smooth penne and penne rigate, flowered penne. 
If you want to eat a good penne dish, make sure that your pasta is cooked properly and al dente. Talking about the different types and shapes, there are so many different types, but remember, shapes matter a lot. If you aren't familiar with pasta dishes, what I'm saying here may sound like madness, but try to cook different types of pasta with the same sauce, and you will soon notice that there is a big huge difference in the taste, in the actual taste. What I'm saying here is that every shape is particularly adapted for sauce. You will find penne in several Italian movies. You can cook penne in several ways. Among the possible recipes that you can make, you can do penne arrabbiata, penne with pesto, penne with marinara, and even penne with five cheese. Number four, ravioli. If you wish to obtain a raviolo, plural for ravioli, fill in two layers of pasta dough with great ingredients. Ravioli are so famous all over the world. You know how many people say pizza, pasta and mandolino? Yeah, when we say pasta, the name ravioli will definitely pop up. Traditional ravioli are made at home, although you can find it in stores, you can find it in restaurants, in the best restaurants of course. The filling varies according to the area where they are prepared. In Rome and Latium, the, the region where Rome is, the filling is made with ricotta cheese, spinach, nutmeg and black pepper. In Sardinia, for example, ravioli are filled with ricotta and grated lemon rind. You can cook ravioli with spinach and ricotta cheese, or bacon ravioli with mushrooms, or even ravioli carbonara. Number 3. Ditali. I love short pasta because, as I said before, pasta is not all the same. Certain types are specific for specific condiments. My grandmother used to cook pasta and lentils with ditali. This tasty pasta is widely used in Sicilian dishes, such as pasta with ricotta and pasta with broccoli and so many other types of pasta. You can even use this pasta for making soups. It is easily to be eaten, especially with a spoon. I love eating pasta with a spoon. Among the amazing recipes you can make with this pasta, we have pasta and lenticchie, pasta and lentils, pasta and beans, and so many others. Number two, lasagne. If you ever see a man with a watery mouth, you can tell he's dreaming of lasagne. Lasagne is one of my favorite types of pasta. Some people say that pasta is not Italian. That's not true. Lasagna is possibly the oldest type of pasta. Ancient Romans cooked a similar type of lasagna. This awesome pasta is oven baked. The ingredients that we use are many such as tomato sauce, meats, vegetables and cheese. Some people in Italy, specifically talking about Naples, say see Naples and then die. Well, I say to you guys, eat lasagna and then die happy. Number one, panelletti. In Italian, it means little rings. This pasta is cooked and prepared as a normal lasagna. However, when you prepare pasta al forno, which is a typical Sicilian dish, but also a dish that is cooked all over Italy, we use anelletti, and I suggest to cook anelletti halfway. So if your package says cooking time 10 minutes, then cook it for five minutes, and then stick it in the oven and let it cook in the oven. However, the Sicilian version has eggplant sliced into cubes, green peas and so forth. There are several versions and every region in Italy uses its own ways to make it. I heard from all Sicilian people that pasta al forno was invented by poor people who used to put in one dish several leftovers from the day before and then they would put it together into one dish and they would oven bake it. So this type of pasta used to be a mix of ingredients. You could even put fish inside in the old days. But in my opinion, this is the, the best pasta in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support and thank you to the patrons who support me so well because without you, this couldn't be possible. Thank you so much and please subscribe to my channel. And remember, if you feel sad, you better cool south. Ciao!